this is a short video to show you how you can create your own custom photo face puppet using just a clothespin and a clear image. Take your photograph. You want to make sure that you've got one that has mostly uh, like a lot of face in it, front on. Just trim around it pretty roughly. Don't do any kind of detailed cutting yet because otherwise you're just going to have to cut it out twice. Once you've got your photos that are loosely trimmed around, just use a glue stick and attach them onto a piece of cardboard. I just use box board that I have lying around. This is to help the image be much more sturdy. It's going to make it a lot more durable because we're going to have to do some more cutting and gluing here soon. Now that you've got it glued onto the box board, now you can go around and you can cut it out in more detail. Uh, this is something that I've done with a lot of different art camp groups and the older kids usually don't have any kind of problem cutting out the faces. Of course, if you're doing this with younger kids, then you're probably going to be the one to do most of the cutting at this point. This is the part that most of the kids get a kick out of doing the most. You're going to want to cut the mouth straight across. Um, this usually elicits a lot of giggles from the children as they cut their mouths essentially off. However, this is going to be the part that makes the actual mouths look like it's speaking. You want to save both these parts. Do not discard any of them because this is your whole puppet. Now again, just using scraps of, I just used some cracker cereal boxes, you're going to cut out a piece that's going to fit inside the mouse and essentially inside of the clothespin. Once you fold these sections in half, this is going to be what's going to attach the photo parts onto the clothespin. So these are going to attach onto the back like so, and then that piece is going to insert into the clothespin. So a glue stick or a glue gun uh, will hold it in place. I've used glue gun plenty of times, again, especially if you're using younger kids, then it's easier for them to participate as well. So do this with the top half of the mouth and the bottom half. Make sure that they line up properly and now you're going to be ready to glue these onto the clothespin. Once you know your pieces are going to line up by testing on the clothespin, you're going to want to glue them on. Now, I use glue gun because it's the most durable. When you're squeezing the clothespin open and closed a lot, glue gun is going to be what's going to hold the cardboard in the best. I find putting a little bit on the very end as well as the inside really helps to ensure a really strong bond. This is me just being extra cautious by usually like running another small bead of glue uh, where the cardboard and the clothespin meet just to give it that little bit of extra durability. It's optional, but if you've got the glue gun, you might as well do it. So 
So now you have your basic face and you can already see it really starting to come together. Now this next step is optional, but I find it just helps refine the project a little more. This might be something you'd want to do either, again, with older kids or if you're doing it yourself uh, and have some black paper around. Finishing off the inside of the mouth just makes it look a little more polished. So cut a strip, make sure it's the same width, and you're going to test it first by just inserting into the clothespin. You don't want any of the black paper to be sticking out from the mouth, so if you need to trim it, then go ahead and do that. I just use a glue stick to apply on both sides of it, press it inside the mouth, uh, and again, the pressure from the clothespin will be the thing that actually holds it in place. Once you've got the heads done, then I've always encouraged the kids to come up with their own bodies. You can print out templates from the internet, some coloring book pages, whatever it is you want to use. The kids love this project, and I hope you have a lot of fun doing it.